welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our brand new embossing and watermark ink pad, our textured white embossing powder, and our embossing ink pen. So first we're going to take a look at the embossing ink pad. And so this ink is perfect for heat embossing. So we're going to go ahead and stamp that ink out and then we can sprinkle our heat embossing powder to it. And because this ink is sticky, that embossing powder is going to stick to our stamp sentiment. And then all you have to do is just tap off any of the excess and then we can go ahead and heat it up with our heat tool. And you'll see that the sentiment is now this beautiful shiny rose gold and I love the smooth texture. And this is our embossing ink pen. So this is a pen that has a similar type of ink that's gonna work for heat embossing. So in this case, I'm just gonna write out the word smile instead of stamping it. And then I can add my heat embossing powder just like we did with the stamped version and then heat that up with our heat tool as well. I have been having so much fun with this embossing ink pen. I love adding little details to stamped images, which we're gonna be going over in just a little bit. But one of my favorite things to do with it is to address envelopes. So in this case here, I've got a craft envelope and I'm gonna use a powder tool. I'm gonna to cover the whole envelope in that powder tool. It gives it kind of an anti-static texture so that that way that embossing powder is only gonna to stick to what I write and not the rest of the envelope. Then here I'm gonna go ahead and write out my friend's name. So I'm gonna write out Lynette here. And I don't have the best handwriting, but that's okay. It still turns out so pretty when you heat emboss it that it just is so much fun. And it makes me wanna practice my calligraphy. So there you can see I've got all of that embossing ink on there. And then I'm gonna add that rose gold embossing powder again over that ink. And you'll see now how it's gonna be sticking to just those letters and what a beautiful detail this is and just a great way to do a custom envelope. And so here I'm gonna heat it up with my heat tool. I put it in fast motion because watching heat embossing in fast motion for some reason, I could watch it all day. I think it looks so cool. And look how gorgeous that is. Oh my gosh, the rose gold is just so pretty. I cannot wait to give this to Lynette. And then the last product that we're introducing is our new textured embossing powder. So I wanted to have you kind of take a look at what this looks like. So I'm stamping out a word and also doing the pen. And then I'm gonna sprinkle on this textured white embossing powder. And so this embossing powder is meant to have a texture to it. It's not perfectly smooth, it's a little gritty, and it gives you just a really, really cool look. So now we're gonna go ahead and use that pen and also the textured embossing powder to add some cool details to our stamped images. So here I have a little Christmas tree that I've stamped and colored and I'm gonna take my pen there and just draw a little bit of details right on the edge of that tree. And you'll see there as I add the textured embossing powder, it's gonna look like fallen snow that's sort of settled on the tree leaves. And I love doing this. It really adds that really extra special texture and it's really, really fun to do too. So you'll see there with just the pen, I'm just scribbling along the edge it doesn't have to be perfect that's what I really like about this textured embossing powder is that it is imperfect so you want it to kind of look like that snow has fallen randomly then all you need to do is just heat it up with your heat tool just like you would do any normal embossed sentiment and look how beautiful that is so I thought it'd be fun to look at some cool ways to use this pen. So in this case here, I have this cute little hot chocolate mug here with the marshmallows, and I put a little line of embossing ink under the marshmallows so it looked like the marshmallows were kind of melting into the coffee cup, and I thought that was really fun. Here is that cute row of houses from Simply Celebrate Winter, and I'm adding the ink to all the little snowy areas and then putting on the textured embossing powder and then melting that. And how fun is that extra added texture? I love it so much. And so I thought it'd be cool to add that texture to some more things. So I thought the little Santa hat would be really cute on this little bear. So I'm going over all of the areas that would normally just be white on my stamp set and then adding that powder. And I just think it's really subtle, but really beautiful. I really, really like it. This embossing powder is obviously really great for wintry, snowy images, but I thought how cute would it be on some stuff for spring? So I added it to the little cotton tail of the bunny and it's just adorable. It gives them kind of a little poofy tail. And then it kind of reminded me of the thought of sort of sea spray on an ocean wave. So I'm taking a die cut here and I'm just tracing the edge of the die cut and then adding the heat embossing powder just like that. And then I'll trace a little bit more and add some more on there. And I think it's really, really cool. It really has this beautiful look to it. It's just gorgeous. 
When using the textured white embossing powder, you don't always just have to use the pen. You can also stamp with it. So in this case, I'm going to be stamping the little coffee cup here from Thanks a Latte. We've got that fun little kind of latte top, and I thought it would be cool to make it look like there was really foam on this coffee cup. So we're going to stamp that out and then add our heat embossing powder to that, and then we can heat that up, and it really just looks so cool. It really looks like the foam on the coffee. It just makes me smile every time. Another really cool thing to do with this embossing powder is to take it and sprinkle it on your cardstock. So in this case, I've got a little turquoise sky and it's gonna be my snow. And then I'm gonna heat it from the back because I don't wanna just blow all the embossing powder off. So I'm heating it from the back. And how pretty is that? It looks like this gorgeous falling snow. I'm gonna take my little Santa bear there and layer him. And you can see how beautiful that would be for a scene. And this works really well as stars too. So here I have some black cardstock. I'm just gonna sprinkle that textured embossing powder on and then heat it from the back again. I think this would look pretty done over kind of a distressed inked galaxy sky as well. And so here are all of the different ways we use these products. So I love the idea of sprinkling the embossing powder to be snow or stars, or the fun idea of sea spray and a little bunny cottontail, or the fun wintry and Christmas ideas of the coffee cups and the snow on the houses and the trees, and the cute little Santa hat too. So now it's time to get crafty and I'm gonna be recreating a gorgeous card by Elise today. So thank you so much, Elise. I'm using the largest of the outside in stitch rectangles and I'm die cutting some of the new Really Rainbow paper and also some of the new Pixie Dust Sparkle cardstock. I've got some trees here from Christmas Dreams that I went ahead and stamped and colored and I have a stitched hillside border there that I'm gonna die cut that fun sparkle cardstock and that's gonna be the snow at the bottom of my card. I've die cut a banner there from some black licorice cardstock and I have winter scripty sentiments and simply winter sentiments there. And I'm combining the both of them and I'm gonna stamp those out in, with the embossing ink pad and then heat emboss those with my normal white embossing powder. And I love the look of that bright white sentiment on the black cardstock. It's really bold and really beautiful. So I'm just gonna sprinkle that on and then heat that up. And I love combining those two stamp sets together too. I just think they're really cool together with the script and then the blocked font. So now it's time to add some snowy detail to these trees. So I've got my embossing ink pen and the textured white embossing powder all ready. And I'm just gonna draw along the edges of the Christmas tree there on the three different layers. So kind of on the left edge and then on the right edge with the pen. And then I can take my embossing powder and sprinkle that over it. And you can see how cool that's gonna look. It's gonna have that look of snow falling down on the little Christmas tree. So I'll add some to the second layer and add some more heat embossing powder and then color the bottom layer as well. Then I can heat that up with my heat tool and how pretty is that? So I'm gonna repeat that for my other Christmas trees. And I wanted to show you there, you'll see I kind of missed a spot because sometimes it's a little hard on a stamped and colored image to see where you put your ink. So I just took my pen there, added a little more ink and then added a little more powder and it worked perfectly. I'm finishing up with my third tree and then I'm gonna heat that with the heat tool and oh my goodness, I love how they're turning out. We're gonna add the sentiment banner on there with some foam adhesive and then we're gonna create a standard size card at four and a quarter by five and a half. I'll add some adhesive to the back of that whole scene and layer that onto my white card base. And then I've added a bunch of foam squares to my Christmas trees as well and we're gonna layer those right onto the card. And the card is all done and I think that little snow on there just really makes it, I love it so much. Next up, we have some gorgeous cards by the design team. And here, Megan added some beautiful detail to the tops of her trees with the textured white embossing powder. Here, Nicole created a gorgeous double slider card where she added this great detail to her coffee cups with the textured white embossing powder. I love how Lynette used the pen there to add a bunch of detail to her houses and her Christmas trees. Melissa got super creative and used the Bayou backdrop for her cool little winter fairies, adding a bunch of snow detail using her pen and the textured embossing powder. This is the card by Elise that inspired me to make mine today. It's so beautiful. And then I love how Yanea added this great embossed texture to her little sheep. She added little swirls on the sheep and then embossed those with the textured white embossing powder. And then here, this card by Kay is so beautiful. I love the snowy detail on her trees. And then I love how Audrey actually covered the entire snowflake in the textured white embossing powder. It really gives a beautiful texture. It's just gorgeous. So I can't wait to see what you guys do with all of this new embossing stuff. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.